You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. So I want to do this here, though. And I, I, I know some of y'all might be sitting at home um, <clears throat> saying, how can you link these two? But, but, but I have to link these two. And that is, we've heard all of this drama about the ambition of Senator Kamala Harris. And is she ambitious? ambitious? Yes. It's a whole bunch of male politicians who are just as ambitious. Y'all remember Beto O'Rourke lost, first of all, a congressman from Texas who I, ne I had never heard of. And I'm from Texas. I had never heard of Beto O'Rourke. I didn't. He and El, El Paso, he might as well be from California. That's so far away from damn Houston. But he runs against Ted, Ted Cruz. Loses. Small margin. He says he was built to run for president. He was made for this. Really? Ran. Didn't survive. Dropped out. I can go. I remember the guy who ran uh, out of Montana. Bullard, I think. Bullock. I don't know what the hell his name is. Governor of Montana. That shows you he, he, he didn't poll at all. I can't remember his name. His wife gave an interview where she said, the only way we're moving to Washington, D.C. is if he's president. <laughs> all right, boo, guess y'all ain't moving. He dropped out. Now he's running for the United States Senate. So men, especially white men, have openly expressed their ambition. No problem. No issues whatsoever. And all of a sudden, when it's women, Sir Elizabeth Warren, Senator Kamala Harris, and on and on and on, how dare they? See, men were so offended. I told y'all the story when I was in a Chicago bar in 2016, and this white guy said, you know, he, he, he recognized who I was, and he couldn't vote for Trump, and he's like, I just can't vote for Hillary, and I said, well, fine, get a sheet of paper out, and Right, I said, write down the 10 issues you care about. Put a check next to Trump and a check next to Clinton. Who agrees with you on that? And there were seven checks next to Hillary Clinton, seven out of 10. He goes, I just can't vote for her. Yes, Hillary Clinton had to deal with sexism and misogyny when she ran for president. We've seen it. We've seen it. We saw it when Jordy Ferraro was VP. We saw it when Palin was on the ticket. This double standard, what women not supposed to do. They can't do those things. On Friday, Megan the Stallion and Cardi B dropped the video. WAP, some say WAP, whatever you want to call it. And all, all these men that's losing their minds. Uh, they, first of all, the conservative men, oh my God, they, they just lost it. They, they didn't know what to do. Some dude running for Congress, I mean, he was just trashing them, how he accidentally saw the video. I don't know how in the hell you accidentally saw the video on YouTube. But then you got conservative uh, Ben Shapiro, okay, who was sitting here running his mouth on his show. Y'all, let me play, with, play for y'all what this fool had to say. Watch this. Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that pullout game weak. Yeah, you effin' with some wet-ass P-word. P-word is female genitalia. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet-ass P-word. Give me everything you got for this wet-ass P-word. Beat it up, N-word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P-word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Poor little Ben. He was just so offended, just so upset with those particular lyrics. CeeLo Green also has something to say. In an interview, he said, um, which, which I found to be quite interesting because I, I was like, really, CeeLo? You're weighing in on this? This is what he said. We are adults. There should be a time and a place for adult content. As adults and artists, we should at least attempt to be each other's accountability partners in some regard. He went on to say the stereotypes that are celebrated and perpetuated ultimately make the perception a reality it is disenfranchising and it has caused a great deal of problems. He later said, 
You have the heads of state like Nicki Minaj or someone who is up there in accolades, success, visibility, a platform to influence. Nicki could be effective in so many other constructive ways, but it feels desperate. Hmm. This is what CeeLo also added. Attention is also a drug and competition is around. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, they are all more or less doing similar salacious gesturing to kind of get into position. I get it. The independent woman and being in control, the divine femininity and sexual expression. I get it all, but it comes at what cost? Here's what I find to be interesting about all of these men who got something to say about a video where two women are openly saying what they want and how they want it. And how it makes them feel. Oh my God, what should we do? See, here's the problem in this country. Just like when it comes to women having ambition, America says, no, 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 you women, you cannot talk about sex that way. You cannot say those things. You bet not saying those lyrics. How dare you? So, so let me ask y'all a question. Where was Ben Shapiro? And where was CeeLo? And where were all these other men? Please, can y'all please tell me where were all these men when Choppa and Master P did Choppa style? Where were they when Tupac did the song, How Do You Want It? How about Tupac, Tupac and KC and JoJo? Thugging you, thugging me. Oh, y'all seen that video, huh? Yeah. See, folks talk about how the Nicki, y'all know him play the, the Nicki Minaj making the stallion video. Oh my God, this video is just, it's so sexual. I mean, it's, 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 what's going on? Are you serious? This is a G-rated video compared to the Tupac, KC, and JoJo video, thugging you, thugging me. Did I hear any men whining about Tigger's making nasty? Tyrone Briggs, where are you out? DJ Fleeks, bend. Luke's, I want to rock. PD Pablo's, freak -a leak Yin Yang Twins and Lil Jon, Salt Shaker. Order Movie Shake. T-Pain, make that shit work. Lil Jon and the East Side Boys, get low. Mystical, shake your ass. Ludacris, what's your fantasy? Ray J, sexy can I? Yin Yang Twins, wait, also known as the Dirty Song. How about Mystical and Trombone Shorty, that woman dirty? Ludacris. Moneymaker, Esther Dean and Chris Brown, drop it low. Prince, sexy MF. Vanity Six, nasty girl. Prince, erotic city. P Control, genuine pony. Hmm. Shall I go on? Sure. Usher, I don't mind. Juicy J, twerk. Kellis, milkshake. Tigger, rack city. Travis Porter, make it rain. Huh, let me go on. Shall we? Too short. Blow the whistle. Love Rants, up, featuring 50 Cent. Ludacris, P popping. Same P as in this song. Big Sean, dance ass. French Montana, pop that, featuring Rick Ross. Oh, let me go on. Fat Joe and Lil Wayne, make it rain. Usher with Nicki Minaj, Lil Freak. Am I done? Off the record, booty work. Hmm. Robin Thicke, shake it for daddy. What you think he's saying shake it? Huh? Matter of fact, if y'all want to listen to a sex song, listen to CeeLo's Love Gun. Oh, my bad. My bad. Nelly, tip drill. Prince, head. Montel Jordan, let's ride. Digital Underground, freaks of the industry. 
Silk, freak me. Prince Cream. Oh, y'all think I'm done? No, I ain't done. Two live crew. All men, pop that coochie. You need D in your life. Throw that D. Shall I go on? Huh? Shall I go on? Juvenile, slow motion. What do you think he's talking about? Lathan Grady, freak it. Ludicrous, sex room. Ludicrous, what them girls like. Ludicrous, nasty girl. Ludicrous, my chick bad. In fact, Ludicrous did an entire album called Battle of the Sexes. We got all kind of hip hop songs. All kinds. Where men are talking about sex, their body parts, how they like it, lick this, do this, drop that, hop on this, lay on that, but y'all ain't say a damn thing. But all of a sudden, two women drop a song, making it clear what they like, and all of a sudden, folks are just losing their mind. Oh, no, I know, I know. I know, I got some, I got some older viewers out there. All these young kids. Look, don't, don't y'all start. Let me take y'all back to a CD that I came across. And these are songs from the 1940s and 50s. There's a song called Big 10 Inch Record by Moose Jackson, Mo Moose Jackson with Tiny Bradshaw. Dinah Washington did a song called Big Long Sliding Thing. Roy Brown did a song called Butcher Pete. The Swallows did a song called It Ain't the Meat. The Dominoes did a song called 60 Minute Man. The Sultans did a song called Lemon Squeezing Daddy. Winoni Harris did a song called Keep On Churning. Dinah Washington, Long John Blues. Julia Lee and her boyfriends, the song is called My Man Stands Out. The Toppers did a song called Let Me Bang Your Box. She during the 40s, black artists had to get real creative in making music as they talked about sex. Yeah, that, matter of fact, that was, matter of fact, hold on. That was a song that Jackie Wilson did um, with Laverne. Just give me a second. I'm going to find it. Um, Jackie Wilson did a song, uh, and it's called, it's got an X on it because it's the X rated version. You better think twice. Is that it? That the song? Yeah. Think twice. There are two versions of think twice. There's a one Jackie did called think twice. That's the one Jackie did with Laverne Baker say called think twice version X. That was recorded in the late 1950s. So, so, so why am I laying all this out? Sex has always been in music. Sex has always been discussed in music. Didn't the Rolling Stones do a song called, was it Brown Sugar? Brown Sugar. What, what y'all think Brown Sugar about? That ain't Brown Sugar that's in your pantry. See, the real issue that we have here is that in this society, we have a double standard. I don't know if many of y'all saw that television show that Sonal Lathan did um, on Fox. I think it was called 12 Shots. I I'll come up with it for a second. And in that opening scene, she had sex with a dude and she was like, okay, I'm done, we out. Her whole, her character was, her character didn't give a damn. Her character was like, if I want to sleep with a man in a, uh, after meeting him in a bar, I'm cool, then I'm out. Oh, my God. What are you doing? How many movies have y'all seen or TV shows with a male po po police officer 
was a player slept with anybody he would want to sleep with and it wasn't no thought. Hell, that's the whole basis of Shaft. America loves misogyny. America loves sexism. America loves to, ha con to have contempt for women who, chose to, who choose to speak freely about their bodies and about sex and then call them out and dog them out when men been doing it for a long time. Now look, here's the deal. If you don't like how graphic Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B is, that's fine. If you, if you, if you fine, that's fine. But don't play no games if you listen to sexually charged music from men and now all of a sudden you got a problem when women are singing it. Don't all of a sudden have a problem when women are talking about how they want it, the way they want it, and the way it makes them feel. But you ain't say a damn thing when all those male artists, and it's a long list of male artists who've been doing the exact same thing. And lastly, don't play this game when it comes to your daughters and your sons. And black folks, y'all know what I'm talking about too. Y'all know how we sit here. Oh yeah, check him out, man. He got all the girls calling the house. What? Who are all these guys calling the house for her? Don't you be a hoe. I'm, I'm sorry, wait a minute. So we celebrate when that guy or that young boy has multiple girls calling the house or DMing him or texting him, but over here. So over here, our son, oh man, he a player, but our daughter, she a hoe. That's what we call double standard. So that double standard now is played out in every other area. It even plays itself out when a woman rises to become mayor or governor or senator and wants to be vice president or president. And then they say, no, 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 you, you, you can't do like them. No, we're going to hold you to a different standard. No, same damn standard. Same one. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.